Hi everyone, uh, back again. I uh, hope you enjoyed uh, the other wee series of videos uh, I put on YouTube. Today I'm going to be talking about reactions uh, and awareness. And sometimes uh, if we're not aware of our reactions and the damage that it's doing to us and the way we react to other people. And we don't mean to at times, uh, it's just a habit. As I spoke about in the other videos, the way we've learned to react. Uh, to sight and sound, that sometimes our reactions can be very, very detrimental uh, to our ongoing recovery. So what is it we react to? And why do we react to the way we react? Me, personally, reacting positively, really, we all act when greatly when we, things go our own way. We react with joy, with happiness, when we see things nice, makes us feel good inside. Like I love seeing two toddlers, children, hand in hand in hand, and or dancing together and kissing, and, and like seeing uh, animals doing the same things. And that brings me joy, and, and seeing people getting on in life and making massive changes in their life, and reacting that way when people's telling you good news. And it's really good, but we've got to talk today about the negative reactions, and how we sometimes we can't really understand ourselves and why we're doing it because of a makeover, because everything's normal in our lives. We've been doing it for a long, long time. And some of the negative reactions can destroy us. Best like night time when you're sitting and maybe you said something during the day to somebody and you live in that world of, oh, I shouldn't have said that. And maybe we've lost a loved one and maybe the last thing you said to them was something that you regret because uh, you reacted and, and, and the way you always reacted in anger, with fear, usually we react is through fear and sometimes it can stay with us for a long, long, long time is that because we've done something that we believe we shouldn't have done but all we did was react but the pain and the length of time that that pain stays with us because of the, the self-loathing uh, the way we've always reacted to ourselves because of the mistakes that we make in life and mistakes are there, as we all know, to help us grow. If there was no mistakes, you would never learn. Some of us learn a lot quicker than others. Me, it took me a long time to learn. I just believed that everything was normal. But my reactions were really destroyed me, really, really hurt me severely. And I see that working with other people today. It, it, sometimes it takes years for them because of the regret, because of what they said and the way they reacted to their parents or their children or, or somebody else and they didn't really mean to do that. And they feel really bad about yourself, and that can last for the rest of their life. Depending on what you believe, if some of you, most people who know me, I try and live my life by spiritual guidelines and spiritual principles because it took me a long time to find out that I was a spiritual being having a human experience and I'm here on this planet to learn lessons. The biggest lesson I've always learned how to love. And my reactions blocked me for that. And as I said, it's through sight and sound. Somebody will say something to us uh, that we don't like because we wouldn't say that to them. And how dare they? But if I mentioned earlier, people shouldn't, but they do. And people are always going to behave uh, the way they behave. And it's up to us how we react to that. And, and because of the way we've been conditioned, we react the same way. Anger, fear, like getting a fright when somebody gives you a fright, you react. Some people laugh, some people get really, really angry uh, when you get a fright. And it's like getting bad news. You be getting a letter through the door, you've been happy, and you've opened that letter, and your reaction just because of what you've read the first couple of lines, it's changed that shift from the spirit into the flesh. And the only way we know how to do, deal with that is to hurt, get worried, get angry, to blame. Uh, because we've reacted, we've, nobody's ever said to us, you could change that reaction, look at it for what it is, and, and, and deal with it there and then. See that going into making assumptions and, and building all these expectations up in your head, all these bad things going to happen, creating that fear through that one reaction. And it's the same when other people speak to us or say something to us that we don't like, uh, maybe call us a name or or talking behind our back and we've found out and we react and we react the same way 
anger, resentment, bitterness, and it's all about reaction, sight and sound. What somebody has told you, what you have saw, uh, or the biggest one, the biggest one of all that I reacted to personally was what I was telling myself in my own head. As soon as I felt that dip in my stomach, that wee queasy butterfly feeling, it's really nothing now. But at that time, we don't know that. And I reacted. It wasn't just to the sight and sound, yes, that's the initial reaction. But when that dip comes down and hits the stomach, that's what I carried my reaction on with. Uh, I hated that feeling. Uh, and I didn't know any, how to change it. So I had to become aware of it. And I had to become aware of the damage that our reaction was causing to my spirit, my growth, my mind and, and my body. Because the hurt that I put my body through, the pain that I put my body through because I didn't know how to change, because of these reactions. And think about it, my friends. It's sight and sound. Remember that. Sight and sound. What you hear from other people, what you see, what you perceive, and the biggest one is what you tell yourself in your own head. Yeah, sometimes we shouldn't say things, but we've I've said them, and we can't take it back. It, this is where the awareness comes in. If we're hurting through what we have said, or we're hurting because we reacted in a negative way towards what somebody said or done or didn't do, then we have to take responsibility for that, because nobody else is going to change our reactions. So through self-awareness and increased self-awareness, is having that ability to recognise I don't need to react this way anymore. Yes, it's, I've been doing it for a long time and it's going to take a wee bit of time for me to to resolve this, to, to change it, and it takes practice. Like I mentioned in earlier uh, videos, we have to practice it. It's like learning the guitar or any musical instrument, you have to practice it on a daily basis. And it's the same with, with change and changing these reactions because the reactions is so quick, as we know, you could be smiling one minute and bang, you're crying the next minute. As I once heard somebody say, one minute I'm a Dalai Lama, the next minute I'm Tony Montana. And I could totally identify with that. And that's the human body. But when you try to live as a spirit and take responsibility for that spirit, you know nothing can hurt you. Nothing at all can hurt you. We can change these reactions if we have that desire and willingness to look at sight and sound, always remember sight and sound. And when you catch that and recognise it and become willing, because as I said, the body is, is the, the most powerful instrument. It shows you the damage that you're doing to your spirit through the reactions, through the shift from coming from th that moment, coming out of that moment and getting into the material, uh, the way we, we always think, the way we learn to think and start to build up self-loathing, hatred, anger, resentment, and the only person that's really hurting through that is us. So remember, it's sight and sound and what you tell yourself in your own head you react to. So it's being aware of that, that's what causes my reactions. I don't like what people say. Uh, <clears throat> I didn't like what I heard there, I didn't like what I saw there, and I don't like what I'm telling myself. It's our responsibility, because people are always going to say and do. We can't change people. <clears throat> we can't make them take back what they've said, even if they do take it back. It's our hurt, it's our pain that we are responsible for. And when we get into blaming them, if they wouldn't have said that or wouldn't have done that, then I wouldn't have reacted the way I did. So we're blaming that person, and really we are totally and fully responsible for our own reactions. And it's trying to recognise that, become aware of it, through the pain, our own pain, uh, and the hurt, and as I mentioned earlier, there's some things I said to my father, God rest him, eh, that I regretted for a long, long time in my life. But I know my father forgave me eh, because I felt it. And I've learned to forgive myself because I don't behave the way I used to behave. So why should I hurt the way I used to hurt? Why should I carry that baggage with me? Eh, that's the dark side. And as I mentioned in earlier videos, once you open that door to the dark and you let it in, it's difficult to get it back out when you've not become aware of it and you've not recognised the damage that you're doing to yourself. Because these videos are about personal responsibility to help us grow, to, to get us to know who we are. And and through being still and, and quiet in your mind and learning to practice meditation and just sitting back. And At first I couldn't do it. I found it very difficult to quiet my mind. But through practice and that desire to be healed and to feel well about myself, I looked at my reactions. Yes, I can still react. But I'll take my power back right away and I will not allow that reaction because 
I'm judging other people by my standards uh, because I've reacted to what they've said and nobody can hurt me. It's impossible physically, yes, people can hurt me. But mentally and spiritually, it's impossible for another human being to hurt me. It's how I react to what they've said or done or my expectation that they shouldn't have said that and they shouldn't have done that. That's my standards. And it always comes back to expectations, the self-seeking behaviours and, and the lack of acceptance. Uh, we won't accept the mistakes that we made, we won't accept that people or other people make mistakes and they shouldn't, maybe they shouldn't, but they do. And we have to learn to accept that other people are going to be and doing what they're going to do and be who they are. And it's becoming aware of that and recognising it and taking responsibility that I can stop these reactions as soon as I feel that dip, I can stop that reaction. Even at night time when you're, you're lying in your bed and you've maybe done something during the day or somebody done something and it's playing over in your mind and you can't get to sleep at night and you've then reacted to something that happened earlier in the past and you're still reacting to it in the present which is destroying your life and when we can't get to sleep at night we end up on medication and it's all reaction, I shouldn't have said that, I shouldn't have done that, he shouldn't or she shouldn't have. And basically my friends it's coming down to us that if we practice catching that reaction, remembering it's all about sight and sound, you will see that the beauty that lies within you when you can generate and challenge yourself and learn to challenge your own thought process and learn to recognise I don't need to react in a negative way, I can react in a positive way, the way I react when I see things lovely, when I hear things lovely, eh, and I can change that reaction and say, okay, I understand why you said that, I understand because you're obviously hurting because we're, we're, everybody sees love is completely different. Our definition of love is, is the way we learned in our home and environment. That's the only way we learn to love, is be watching and listening in the home and in the environment. And we feel that love when we're getting our own way, but, uh, but we don't feel that love when we're not in control of our own feelings and emotions. And as I said in earlier videos, nobody teaches us how to deal with feelings and emotions. We have to go our way and read and and, and go to speak to other people who you see have dealt with their feelings and emotions. Because I don't want to go through my life hurting. I hurt enough in the past and I don't want to hurt in the future or in the present. And I try and live my each moment as precious to me because life is so precious we only get this one shot at it. So try and look at the, the way we react to sight and sound and, and the damage we do to yourself because we, we feel to recognise that we can let go of this and we can we don't have to harbour bad thoughts or negativity towards another soul because what goes around comes around. And we, we all know that the reaction can cause damage to the body. Uh, my reactions continually react in the same way year in, year out. I had to sit down and, and say, I've got to stop this. I've got to stop this. But your reaction is like, like an animal, it's like instinct, it's just normal to react. But to catch it and recognise it and become aware of it and stop it there and then. I didn't mean to do that, I didn't set out to do that. You will see, you will then start to manage it more responsibly eh, and more spiritually. And you will become free. And it's live and let live and let other people live their way, their way. Eh, and, and you live your way, your way, your life, your way. And it becomes then a new habit, a, a new way of living in a new way of thinking and a new way of being, being a spiritual being. and Because you'll find it difficult to spirit, I don't believe in that, blah, 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 like I used to. It's until I sat down and learned to quiet my mind that I had feelings beyond your wildest dreams, that amazing oneness and that connection with the spirit, uh, that calmness and that peace and that serenity that we all crave and that love. Because love to me was completely different from what I I know now, yeah, I can love when I don't get my own way, I can love other people when they speak to me in a, in a way and manner that I'm not used to, I can still love them because I understand them, that they're reacting through fear, they're reacting because they're not getting their own way, they're not in control, and that to me was the damage that was done to me, I had to learn to understand myself and why I was reacting the way I was, uh, so I could better understand other people, so that I wouldn't react to them in a negative way, because we do, we, we've all gifted, every soul that I know is gifted in a special way and we have to recognise that gift uh, and use it uh, to the best of its ability. So try and practice 
your reaction you'll see when you go. You react every day, you react in the car to other drivers. They shouldn't have done that, they shouldn't be driving like that. Look at the speed they're driving, look at that, they're like blah blah, and you're gonna weigh into a big rigmarole because of that one split millisecond of a reaction, and you can stop as soon as you've reacted. I'm not going there, I am not going there. And you will see the difference in your life is beyond your wildest dreams when you take full responsibility for the way you react and we are not responsible for the way other people react. We have to set our boundaries in our own life eh, when we're round about negative people through love and understanding and, and put your boundaries in and go and stop and, and say and find the courage to say I didn't like what you said there eh, without reacting angrily or resentful because as I said earlier we are the only people that hurt. So try and remember my friends it's sight and sound. If you find another way that you react to then please let me know because everything I see and everything I hear and what I tell myself in my own head is the things that I react to and what I hear from other people and I've learnt today that love is letting other people live their own life and for me I feel love and I feel that peace and contentment when I do not interfere in other people's life I don't judge them by my standards I react because I learnt to react in my home and in my environment and I've been reacting the same way for 20, 30, 40 years and it is difficult but the freedom comes in non-reaction, non-interference. Do not interfere in another soul's life unless you are invited in. And sometimes we are invited into other people's lives to help them and they might not appreciate our help. And again, we react to that because uh, they, sh they should be more grateful for the time I've gave them, blah, blah, blah. And, and you're seeing that's another reaction. So it's... To me, reaction was very, very big for me, like change, and I spoke about fear and blame. And it all comes back to the same thing, sight and sound, and what you tell yourself in your own head. So it's about, for me, it was practising non-reaction, and when I do feel that reaction, that dip in the spirit, to stop myself right away and say, I'm not going any further with that. And that's where I found my peace. Uh, you'll see where you react. Uh, we get bad news, jobs, phone calls, uh, the death of a loved one, a family member and how we react, but my freedom came through learning that I have a spirit and the friends that I've lost and family that I will see them again, uh, I get to feel them, I get to see them in meditation, it's my experience, I don't share out of books, uh, that's my experience that I try and share with other people to give them that hope uh, and, and, and still maybe a, a sense of belief that you can change, uh, there is life after death, we don't have to be frightened of death uh, and it's I always looked at it as it's more people to help me in the spirit world and more people to guide me and, and that's helped me immensely with non-reaction it uh, took away a lot of fear of my death because uh, I know one thing that every human being is, is spirit and we're down here and we've all got different lessons and we have to try and understand that that nobody is like us uh, and we are on this path and if you choose this path, the spiritual path the lessons will come fast and your progress is for you to recognise because there's not many people out there promoting your progress or for you to recognise that progress is when you will go back into people, places, things and situations that you have reacted to in a negative way and this is where we measure our progress is going back amongst people that we didn't like, that we resented or we reacted to in a negative way, things situations and places that we reacted to in a negative way. The spirit and the universe will take us back to different places and things and situations to see how we're going to react. That's how you measure your progress. We don't need that pat on the back. We don't need to seek that approval anymore from anybody else. We can approve of ourselves because we are lovely people and we are learning to generate that love through recognising the damage that we're doing to our own soul through our negative reactions to sight and sound and to what we tell ourselves in our own head. And I hope that everybody uh, <clears throat> can come to that conclusion and recognition that you can do this. Because I'm sitting here as one of the possibly the most negative, angry, resentful, bitter people you ever knew. And I was just so tired of hurting my body, the pain that it caused in my body. And I'm free from that uh, because I live in the moment and I practice living in the moment. My pain comes from leaving that moment and get into the past and living in regret. I shouldn't have said that and I shouldn't have done that. 
I said it, I done it, I didn't mean to, I don't have to harbour that pain the rest of my life, because who says I was to do that? Uh, nobody. Me, I told myself, I gathered that sick evidence in my head that I should be punishing myself and punishing other people for what they said. Sticks and stones, my friends, may break our bones, but names and words cannot hurt us. And I'll finish with that. Uh, and I'll be back on again in another couple of short videos. And I hope you can take something from that, because every video, remember, comes back to the mind in our makeover, in the way we have learned to think, act and behave and react. And when you take responsibility for that, my friends, you will see that peace will follow. That is a promise. Thank you very much for listening. And uh, peace be with you all. Speak soon.